everybody it's Jamie from old shipping lines and welcome back to a new video now in today's video we'll be discussing a significant wreck from World War II during Operation Hannibal now when we reflect on this operation the tragic sinking of the MV Wilhelm Guslav often comes to mind however there was another liner that sadly sank during this operation. The SS General von Steuben. Now again, in today's video, we'll be talking about this lesser known but impactful tragedy. Now the ship was formerly known as the SS München. And she was owned by the German shipping company Norddeutsche Lloyd. The vessel would be built by the German shipbuilders AG Vulkan Stettin. They were based in Germany. Now if we talk about the specifics of the ship, the gross tonnage of this liner would be 14,660 gross registered tons with her length being 168 meters and the vessel would have had a beam of 19.8 meters the ship could go a speed of 16 knots the ship would be launched in 1922, with her maiden voyage being on the 23rd of June 1923. She was one of the first vessels to enter New York Harbor since the end of World War I. However, on the 11th of February 1930, the SS München was docked in New York City when a fire broke out, causing the ship to sink at the wharf where she was docked. Now, in a remarkable salvage operation for its time, the SS München was raised, towed to a dry dock, repaired and put back into service. Shortly thereafter, the ship's owner decided to rename her to the SS General von Steuben and the ship underwent a white repaint. Now during World War II, the SS General von Steuben would be commissioned in 1939 as a Kriegsmarine accommodation ship. In 1944 she was pressed into service as an armed transport ship, carrying German soldiers to eastern Baltic ports and bringing back injured troops to Kiel. The General von Steuben alongside with the MV Wilhelm Guslav and many other ships played a significant role in the largest sea evacuation in recent history, known as Operation Hannibal. Now, if you don't know what the purpose of the operation was, here is a quick summary. Operation Hannibal was a massive German naval evacuation effort during World War II, conducted in the winter of 1945. It aimed to evacuate German soldiers, civilians and refugees from East Prussia as Soviet forces advanced. The operation used a fleet of ships, including military vessels and civilian liners, 
to transport over 1 million passengers across the Baltic Sea to ports in northern Germany and Denmark, avoiding encirclement by the Soviet Army. Despite harsh conditions and losses due to enemy attacks and maritime hazards, Operation Hannibal remains one of the largest and most successful evacuations in history. On the 9th of February 1945, the General von Steuben departed from Pillau, located near Konigsberg on the Baltic coast. The ship was headed for Swinmunde, Poland, under command of Captain Hermann Hohmann. Now, during this voyage, there were 4,267 passengers registered on board. However, due to the rapid evacuation ahead of the Red Army's advance, many Eastern Germans and Baltic refugees boarded the Steuben without being registered increasing the number of those on board to approximately 5,200 passengers. Now, the passengers on board were wounded German soldiers, civilians, returning soldiers, Navy medical personnel, including doctors, nurses and auxiliaries, nurses from Pillau, crew for the ship's anti-aircraft guns, naval personnel, radio operators, signalmen, machine operators and administrators, plus merchant navy crewmen. At nearly midnight on the 9th of February, the Soviet submarine S-13, under the command of Captain Alexander Marinesco launched two torpedoes at the General von Steuben. The torpedoes struck the starboard bow of the ship, directly below the bridge, where numerous crew members were sleeping. Most were killed by the impact of the torpedoes. The following testimony comes from anti-aircraft captain Franz Huber. He had had about an hour's sleep before being roughly woken by the powerful explosions. The whole body of the ship trembled and shook, and one had the feeling that it would burst any minute. In every room people screamed and yelled. Medics and nurses stood in the doorways as the ship violently flew back and forth. The wounded standing upright were immediately thrown against the walls. The rest of the wounded fell over each other. We fell again and were hurt again as if we hadn't been hurt already. Now, everything not fixed down on board the General von Steuben was thrown around or toppled by the explosions. In the large dormitories, all the cabinets, tables and other furniture fell on those who lay on mattresses on the floors. Many of the injured immediately assumed that they had been hit by torpedoes or by mines. Now, during the sinking of the ship, Franz Huber had his coat and life belt on. But in his panic, he had not dared to stop to put on socks or shoes. He came up the freezing deck barefoot. Here is his testimony once again. I saw hundreds of wounded doctors, nurses and medical staff who jumped into the water and I tried to reach the ship's highest place and hoped that this particular part would go under last. I sat alone for a long time in the darkness, listening to the screams on the vessel. I heard the Lord's Prayer read by a voice in a way one had never heard before 
and may never get to hear again. I heard the screams in the water and saw that the ship was burning with something, and it created silhouettes in the water and on the ship. I saw many people squeezing out of the various openings and then throwing themselves into the water. I waited and really didn't know what I was waiting for until I heard a voice next to me, which said, now we have to jump, otherwise it will be too late and then the suction will come. These words convinced me. Survivors recall that the General von Steuben sank by the bow and listed severely to starboard before taking her final plunge. Within about 20 minutes of the torpedo impact. Now something quite interesting is when the bow of the ship hit the ocean floor, that of course would have put a enormous stress on the hull. Now despite the darkness of the night, a surviving medic called Dalman thought he saw the vessel had snapped in half just like the sinking of the RMS Titanic in 1912. Dolman also said that he saw the bow suddenly pop up again, perhaps a meter above the water, then sink once more. The stern pointed straight up and he saw people clinging to the stern shouting in panic. However, this turned out to be untrue, because when the wreck of the ship was found, there was no evidence of the ship breaking into. An estimated 4,500 passengers died in the sinking of the General von Steuben. A total of 650 passengers were rescued from the ship. The wreck of the General von Steuben was discovered in May 2004. The wreck rests on its left side at approximately 70 meters below the surface, with the hull extending down to 50 meters. The ship remained largely undamaged upon her discovery. In July, 2021, it was reported by the German news magazine Der Spiegel that the wreck had been looted and extensively harmed. The wreck holds the status of an authorized war grave, making it unlawful to enter. The wreck is still owned by the German state as per international agreements. However, Poland is accountable for safeguarding the wreck. And that is the end to a video. Thank you all so very much for watching. I appreciate the support. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. That would help out the channel a lot. And don't forget to click on the video suggested here in the outro, as I'm sure you will enjoy that one as well. Now if you have any comments or thoughts on this video, please leave them in the comment section down below. As well, what ships you would like me to cover next. Now with that out of the way guys, I wish you all a good night or day wherever you are and we will see each other on the next video. Goodbye, my friends.